All right, so this is old school, new school. This is a game show where we're going to be asking your principal and vice principal questions about movies, games, TV, music, toys, everything. And some of them might be old school questions that they may know right away. And some of them might be new school questions that they may, don't, may not even have an idea what it is that we're asking. So if you're a kid in Anaheim Elementary, you should have access to a Google Doc that your school has shared with you. Feel free to drop your answers or your guesses in there. We're gonna give each of your schools two minutes total to answer each question. So the way it works is we're gonna spin the wheel, whatever school it lands on gets to choose a category and whether or not it's an old school or new school. We'll ask you the question. You'll have two minutes to help your school answer that question on the Google Doc. Then at the end of two minutes, I'm gonna yell three, two, one, chin it, and everyone on camera is gonna show us their answers. Every school that gets it right will get five points. Then we're gonna to go to our bonus round. We're gonna ask an extra difficult question that's related to that other one. We're gonna give them two minutes and you gotta help them out with that one too, but only the first school to unmute their microphone and shout out their school name will get a chance to answer that question. If they get it right, your school gets two points. If they get it wrong, we're gonna ask, we're gonna, uh, ask them to mute their microphone and any other school that knows the answer can unmute and ask again. So I'm gonna ask all of our schools to unmute their mics real quick and let us know if they're ready to play. Ready. Ready. Go ahead and mute our mics and we're gonna get started. So schools, when I, um, administrators, when I click spin here, you're not gonna see the spin. Um, because they're two separate apps, but the kids will see it at home. So it's going to spin, it's going to spin, it's going to spin. And we've landed on Ross. Ross, you get to choose the category and the era first. So go ahead and unmute Mrs. Graper and tell us which category you'd like. Okay, for Betsy Ross Roadrunners, let's go with old games. All right, an old school question related to games. So the question is... In this arcade game, the aim is to defeat waves of aliens with a laser cannon. What is this arcade game? You have two minutes to answer this question. Two minutes. Remember, if you don't know the answer, you're gonna to wanna to reach out to the Google Doc where you have shared with your kids to get some help from them. Remember, you don't want to share the answer until we ask you to, because you might give it to another school that didn't know. You've got a minute and 30 seconds left. If you don't know the answer, check your Google Doc. I bet your kids know. have about a minute left. Mrs. Robles is looking very confident in her answer. Mrs. Mullen and Mrs. Salas and Mrs. Nichols, Mrs. Shumade. Oh, you all are looking very confident. Let's see. We've got about a little less than a minute left.
All right, 30 seconds. If you know the answer, you've had a little bit of extra time to think or maybe start thinking ahead to what the bonus question might be. If you still don't know the answer, you've got about 25 seconds left. Ten seconds left, and I'm going to ask you to chin it here in about ten seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and chin the answer for me, administrators. Yes, the answer is Space Invaders. Great job. You can go ahead and leave your answers up for a little bit so our judges can get your uh, scores put in for you. And while they're doing that, let's do a quick shout out to our first schools. Today we have Mrs. Mullen from Barton. We have Miss Nichols from Edison. Miss Gratoviak from Edison. <laughs> We have Mr. Koska from Gower. We have uh, Dr. Perez from Gwynn. And we have Dr. Barry from Henry. Edison, hi, everybody. Good to see you guys. Thank you for helping me. Please help. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the bonus question. Oh, put up the signs real quick. One more time, please. Signs real quick. Thank you to our judges who are trying to get the scores written down as quickly as possible. We appreciate it. All right, here we go. We're gonna go on to the bonus question now. So again, reminder, bonus question. This is the first school to unmute their mic, shout out their name. Don't shout the answer, shout out your name. We're gonna call on your school, then you're gonna give us the answer. So the question, the bonus question, which is worth two points only to one school is, when you wanted to hold your place in a line at the arcade. When, when? Hey, 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 Jefferson. When? Edison. Edison, go ahead. Um, you would put your quarter on the quarter or token on the very top of the machine to hold your place in line. You put your quarter or your token on the actual arcade machine. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Good job, Edison. Great job, Edison. So uh, judges, if we can go ahead and give Edison two bonus points for that. We're gonna go back to our site. Current score is. Angela heard Gwen first. I'll keep an eye out. I will keep an eye out to see who we hear first. All right, so you can hear see our uh, current score as it is right now. Edison in first place with a total of five. We've got a 20-ish um, or 19-ish uh, tie for Second place, and then we've got a couple schools that are looking to get a couple more points. The more spinner goes out on every now and then. There we go. All right, we're ready. We're going to do another spin. We'll see who it lands on next. And it's man. Man, go ahead and unmute yourself and tell us what category and era you'd like to go to next. Hi, uh, so Mrs. Turnus. Let's see. How about um, how about music? Old school. All right, music old school. Timer hasn't started yet. If you wanted to hear the top 40 songs of the week in the 80s, you listen to this broadcaster on the weekends. What was their name? You've got two minutes. If you wanted to hear the top 40 songs of the week in the 80s, you listen to this broadcaster on the weekends. What was their name? It may not know this one off the top of their head, not likely, but if you don't know and they don't know, Google will always help you. At a minute and 20 seconds left. All 
One minute left. If you already know the answer, you should be thinking, oh, what might that bonus question be about? And if you don't know the answer, you've got about 50 seconds now to get it. If you do know the answer, you probably don't want to display for everyone to see just in case they don't know. All right, schools, you got 30 seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and chin it for me, please. Yes, the answer is Casey Kasem. However, we will also take Rick Dees because Rick Dees took over for a very brief moment in the 80s, but was mostly 90s. So Casey Kasem is what we were looking for. We've got a dancing hot dog there from Olive. <laughs> Casey Kasem is what we're looking for, but judges, we're going to go ahead and take Rick Dees as well. So it looks like everyone gets points on that one. I don't see anybody who doesn't have Casey Kasem or Rick Dees. So we're getting ready to roll over to the bonus question. So judges, we should be able to go to that pretty quickly. Everyone gets that one right. And we're going to go to the bonus question. And so the bonus question worth two points is, Casey Kasem was the voice of which cartoon character? Franklin. 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 <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Yes. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Ah! Laura, Laura, Laura. Laura. Shaggy. Shaggy is correct. Oh, Shaggy is the, the voice of Casey <laughs> yeah. So that's two points for Lowell. Oh, Thank you very much. All right, we're going to give our uh, judges a couple minutes just to make sure everything's good. So while we're doing that, let's do another shout out to the next six schools. Uh, we have Dr. Song from Jefferson today. We have Miss Ramon from Juarez. We have Mr. Ms. Penny Ramon, from Ms. We have Mr. Valdez from Loera, Miss Mungia from Madison, and we have Mr. Rooney from Man. Madison. Woo, best of the West. Yay, man. Rooney again. Okay, we should be pretty good to go because the judges were um, able to give those points pretty quickly. So let's look at our current score. So our current score, we have Edison and Loera are tied for first. Uh, we've broken out a bit in the pack here with a um, total of uh, 10 points for most of our schools. And we still have a few that have um, five points. So we're able to get one right. So let's give it another spin and see what we've got here. All right, we have Olive. And keeping an eye on our time, we got about 15 minutes left for our game. We're about halfway through. So Olive, go ahead and choose a category for us. So, sorry, a little challenge there. I'll take uh, Dodgers baseball, 1981. Oh, we'll have that category next week, but this week oh, that okay. didn't make the cut. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, <laughs> let's do let's do let's get let's get the kids involved. Let's do something new school. Let's do um let's do new school music. All right, new school music. This DJ wears a mask that would be delicious over a campfire. What is their name? You've got two minutes. Work it out with the kids. Two minutes. This DJ wears a mask that would be delicious over a campfire. What is their name? As always, if you know the answer right away, that's great. Start talking with the kids about what you think the bonus question might be. All right, schools, you have about a minute and 30 seconds left.
Mrs. Solace getting a lifeline there, getting a little bit of extra help. <laughs> Seems like a couple of you are smiling and confident, ready to go. Some look like they've got the research face on, still trying to figure it out. One minute left. All right, schools, you got 30 seconds left. Again, if you already know it, start thinking about what a bonus question might be and be ready to shout your school's name. And seconds left. Five, three, two, one. Go ahead and chin it. What is the answer? The answer is Marshmallow. Judges, as I look around, I think I see everyone has Marshmallow. Let me check my other screen. Marshmallow, Marshmallow. There we go. Got oh, we got some awesome sketches there. Very nice. All right. Go ahead and get ready. Here we go. We're going to move on to the bonus question. Bonus question is... This rodent DJ also wears a mask. What is their name? Go ahead and shout your school's name if you know Edison. 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 I heard Edison and Lincoln. We're gonna give a tie to Lincoln because Edison's answered. I heard a tie. So Lincoln, go ahead. Danger Mouse. That is not correct. Laura, Laura. Edison. 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 I heard Laura. Laura. I heard Laura. Uh, dead Mouse. Dead mouse is the answer. Great. Job. All right, that's two points for Loera. Judges, I'm going to give you a second to kind of make sure we got all the scores in. While we do that, let's do another round of shout outs. We've got shout outs for Mrs. Hubbard from Marshall, Mr. Heiner from Olive, Mr. Ramirez from Orange Grove, Mr. Ramirez from Ponderosa, Mrs. Shumay from Price, and Mrs. Solace hey, from Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Miss you guys a lot. Ponderosa, <laughs> go pride, go orgullo, Ponderosa, All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the scoreboard as it stands right now. We've got Loera pulled ahead into first with 19 points. We've got Edison in second. We've got another multi tie for third, and then ties for fourth. So we're going to spin the wheel again, and the school's going to have to decide if they're going to choose something to stay in the lead or get up into the lead. Price, you get to go ahead and. Uh, Schools, ignore the one I just rolled. I don't know why I rolled it twice, but it came up as price on the uh, YouTube. Price, go ahead and choose the category. Hi, everybody. Hey, pandas. Um, I would love to have old toys. All right, an old school question about toys. Here we go. So the question is, his toy could triple in length as he bends and he stretches. What is the name of this toy? Again, you've got two minutes. You don't need to rush it. Talk with the kids. His toy could triple in length as he bends and he stretches. What is the name of this toy? Stretch man. Stretch Armstrong. Dr. Ramirez, you may want to mute. Dr. Perez, sorry. Dr. Perez, you may want to mute. <laughs> okay, you have a minute and 15 seconds left. As we said before, if you know the answer already, start thinking about what other related question we might be asking for the bonus question. If you don't know the answer, you've got a minute left.
All right, schools, you have 30 seconds left. A lot of you are nodding in confidence or just looking away as if you've already got it and you know exactly what it is. Some of you might still be looking for the answer. Think about what we might be asking for that bonus question. You've got 10 seconds left. All right, cool. Three, two, one. Go ahead and chin it for me, please. Yep, the answer is Stretch Armstrong. Judges, it looks like everyone got Stretch Armstrong correct. I'm looking all around, looking all around. It is Stretch Armstrong. I think we're ready for the bonus question. So here we go. The bonus question related to Stretch Armstrong is, what year did Stretch Armstrong first release? Olive. 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 I heard Olive. That would probably be 1975. That is in Jefferson. Lincoln, go ahead. 1978. That is incorrect. I heard Jefferson. Go ahead, Jefferson. 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 Jefferson, go ahead. We heard you a long time ago. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> 1976. That is correct. 1976. Two points for Jefferson. <laughs> Let's go. We got about eight minutes left in the game. Eight minutes, and we got a couple more categories. So, judges, go ahead and make sure that we got all the points. While we're doing that, we're going to do our last round of shout outs. Um, we have Miss Pulaski from Roosevelt. We have Miss Roosevelt. We have Miss Hadley from Potter, Miss Cryer from everybody. Let's go back and see what our uh, score is now. So we have Lawera in first place. Ooh, and there's a new tie in second between Edison and Jefferson. We've got a multi-school tie for third place. And then in fourth place, we have a multi-school tie. Let's do another spin and see which school is next. Orange Grove, go ahead and choose for us. Orange Grove, what category and era would you like? I think we need to do new TV. All right, a new TV question. Okay, here we go. You have the one. This cartoon stars comedic versions of Cyborg, Beast Boy, Robin, Starfire, and Raven. What cartoon is this? You have about one minute and 10 seconds left. You know the answer, spend some time thinking about what the bonus might be. If you know what show this is, start thinking about everything you know about this show. Have the kids tell you in the dock everything they know about this show. About 45 seconds. You have 20 seconds to come up with the answer. We're always learning and we're always talking about how we're learning. We're already talking on the back end about how we're next week. We think it might be a little more challenging to give you one minute for each question. So be ready for that next week. You'll have one minute. Tonight, right now, you have three, two, 
One, go ahead and chin it. What current comedic show stars these characters? So I see a lot of Teen Titans, but unfortunately we are only going to accept Teen Titans Go because that is the comedic version of the drama Teen Titans. Teen Titans Go is the correct answer. So judges, Teen Titans Go we will take, Teen Titans we cannot take. Oh, Mr. Paniagua does not agree. Dr. Perez just dropped out completely with this, with us. <laughs> Teen Titans Go is the correct answer. Judges, we're going to give you a couple seconds to get that one down. Contestants, if you can leave your papers up just a little bit longer, that would help out. Looks like the pandas helped out on that one quite a bit. The dancing hot dogs back at Olive. All right, here we go. We're going to move on to our bonus question. So if you know the answer to the bonus question, please unmute your mic. The bonus question is, sorry, I got to scroll here. Which Teen Titan is a vegetarian? I heard Jefferson. I heard Jefferson. Vegetarian. Beast Boy. Beast Boy is a vegetarian. Great job, Jefferson. Two points for Jefferson. Mr. Ramirez is not happy right now. <laughs> Two points for Jefferson. All right, let's go back and see what our scores are. real quick um Juarez if you can go ahead and put your sign up one more time please oh. Juarez if you can put your sign up real quick I don't think we got you okay where's this Teen Titans got it thank you and let's see where we're at. So we've got Loera in first with 29 points. We've got Edison and Jefferson tied for second. And we have uh, more ties for third, more ties for fourth, and then we've got fifth as well. Let's go ahead and, and judges, I'm going to do one more refresh to see if the change the score at all. Looks like we're still tied. Okay, here we go. We're going to move on now. We're going to do another spin of the wheel. You who are watching on YouTube, you can see the spin. They can't see the spin here. Roosevelt is up. Roosevelt, go ahead and choose a category and an era for it. This will be the last question because we only have two minutes left, so make it a good one. There'll go be no Roosevelt. New school toys. New school toys. Okay, here we go. The question is, if interactive baby animals can wrap around your finger and respond to you with sounds or movements. What are they called? We're going to give you two minutes. We'll answer this question and the bonus question, and that will be the end of the game. These interactive baby animals can wrap around your finger, respond to you with sounds or movements. What are they called? Well, that's a great idea, Mr. Ramirez. If you already know the answer, maybe write a thank you message to the kids who've helped you out today, uh, because this is the last question. We'll do the bonus question, but after that, we're all done. So if you want to maybe draw a nice little welcome message or thank you to your kids. We have one minute left. All right, schools, you have 30 seconds left. If you think you know the answer, write a nice little thank you message to your kids, but also be thinking, what else do you know about this toy?
Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Go ahead and chin it for me, schools, please. The answer is fingerlings. Fingerlings. I'm looking around. I think everybody got it right. I think everyone got it correct. Everyone, 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 everyone judges. It looks like everybody got the answer correct, unless I'm missing something. <laughs> there is a party at all of today. All right. So thank you, fingerlings. All right, here we go. This is the bonus question. This is the last, the absolute last question for the night. If you know the answer, unmute your mic, shut your school. I know you probably said your school before we called on you. We're doing the best we can to hear you. So here we go. Bonus question. What is the name of the brown baby sloth? Franklin. 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 Uh, brown, what was it? The brown baby sloth is called... Nora. Nora. Uh, Nora. 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 Sorry, Mrs. Kotroviak. You got to know it. I hear Loera. <laughs> Kingsley. Kingsley is correct. That's exactly what I was going to say. I know. I, I know. We gave you. <laughs> All right. Yes. The uh, brown sloth is called Kingsley. All right. Let's go and see what our total is for the week. We've got LaWare in first place with 38 points. Edison and Jefferson are tied for second with 32. Great job, everybody. So we got a really cool announcement for you. We've been working with our web designer. We're gonna be putting a banner on the main website, congratulating the school that wins each week. And we're also going to be giving you a badge that you'll be able to send out through all your social media, letting everybody know how well you did. Um, so we're gonna have you come back next week. Next week, we're gonna ask for different staff members who would like to join. Um, we'll send more info to you guys about that next week. And we're only going to give you a minute next week. We think two was far too much. And we will have some new categories. So there will be some new things to um, guess about. So go ahead and unmute your mic. Say bye to everybody. And we're going to hang up for the week. Bye. 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 Bye.